Hey what's up guys few days back I kept off the OEM unlock option in the developer setting and tried to relock the bootloader so I got stuck at the boot image corrupt screen and can't able to flash any boot image rom etc because of that option but we at XD found a major method to solve such issues and also you can now relock the bootloader and get the stock recovery if someone want to revert their phones from the unlock bootloader to the stock lock condition Note that this process will work on any MTK device. This took me a lots of hard work and hundreds of trials and checks. Also, at the last step, I got frustrated and thought to go OP center, but my last chance make this happen. So please, if you like our stuffs, please please like and share our video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon to get the notification of our upcoming content because it helps us to motivate to bring the more awesome content to you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On a new adventure So in the intro you already seen I am at unlock bootloader and TWRP is installed on my phone with the root access before proceeding you must keep your OEM unlock tab in on condition and also keep USB debugging enabled inside the developer setting that I already shown in a several tutorials now you need the two pen drives in the first pen drive download and transfer the boot image of your current stock rom you are using stock recovery image we will made of current stock rom which must be extracted from your current rom update zip i have given the links of all the we made boot images recovery images in the video description after transfer the files to the pen drive remove that pen drive first now connect the second pen drive to the pc then download the mtk client real live dvd iso file place it on the computer now you need the refers application install and then open it there select the device as a pen drive here in my case it is sb live 16 gb now select the real live dvd as iso file don't touch anywhere now app will show you the ready warning then keep net connection on the pc before clicking the start button because refers will download few extra files now click start i will not show the flashing process here because i already flashed that iso on my pen drive after whole process, app will show the process complete. Keep that pen drive connected to the PC and power off your PC. Now restart your PC while restarting place your PC boot menu key. Here it's F12 for my device. You can search yours with the device name in a Google search. From the boot menu select the Linpus Lite pen drive and hit enter. Now select the live DVD options. Now wait it will take 1 to 2 minutes and the screen pop ups with the login option. It will ask the password here type password as a user in a small case and hit enter. Now connect to a second pen drive where we place the boot image, recovery image and VV meta. On the screen click the file manager there in the list of the storage at the bottom we will see the connected storage. Open it, copy all the three files and paste that in a folder file system opt mtk client. Now remove that pen drive and power off your phone and boot it into the fast boot mode by long pressing volume up plus power button or you can also boot to the fast boot by connecting phone to the PC when it's in the on condition and open the terminal emulator available on the desktop of Linux OS and their type ADB reboot bootloader. After booting to the bootloader connect phone to the PC go to the terminal emulator available on the desktop open and type fastboot devices check whether device id is connected or not now type fastboot flashing lock on the phone screen you will see some prompts select lock using the volume up key of your device now after that process press volume up plus power button till phone turns off keep phone aside now go to the mtk client terminal icon on the desktop now open it and type first command python space mtk space w space boot space boot rmg i have given all the commands in the video description type as mentioned and hit enter now terminal will try to search the device at the same time take your phone back in your hands and press volume up and down simultaneously and connect it to the pc it will detect your pc and start the flashing boot image on the log bootloader after flashing process done Keep the phone connected and type the second command python mtkw recovery recovery img. This will flash the stock recovery on the phone. After this type the another command python mtkw vvmeta vvmeta.img. It's done. Now remove the cable. After that long press volume down plus power key and the phone will boot to the stock recovery on your phone. It will take nearly half minute. Now inside the recovery select the language and then go to the wipe data and there select the format data. 
Now wiping starts and phone reboots. It will take nearly 2 minutes so wait and then set up the device. Now go to about phone, tap 8 times on your build number, then go back, now select the additional setting and there go to the developer option. You will see the OEM unlock tab is now showing the enable tab to unlock device means it's now in a lock condition. If you reboot to the recovery, you will see the stock recovery. That's it, target completed. So this process locks your bootloader and gives you the stock recovery as a new device. If you got stuck in any situation with the lock bootloader in the brick condition of your device, in that situation, this is the only tool to flash anything on the lock bootloader and recover your device. This will work on any MTK device. So that's it guys if you think I help you like and subscribe as I said before. So thanks for watching see you in the next video signing off take care bye bye.